And good evening. Welcome to Richland Softball Field in North Richland Hills, Texas. Brendan Snow coming to you live from the Vibe Live Network and from the top of the Richland bleachers as we are prepared for more Richland Lady Royal Softball taking on town cross town rival Birdville Lady Hawks. Two schools found here in North Richland Hills going at it across town rivalry. Crowd filling in nicely here on this Tuesday afternoon. Our PA guy talking right now about the the wind and the heat we're dealing with. Still 18 to 20 mile per hour wind. Seems like every time I've got baseball or softball games, the wind's right there with me. I am working on getting our lineup cards. So bear with me for a minute while I write these down. It's hard to find the information I need at times. But nonetheless, we are excited. Richland coming off the three to one loss on Saturday or on Friday to Northwest. Leading off for Birdwell number two, Bailey Headington. We do know this leading off it's the shortstop Bailey Headington, and she'll be facing JC Lees, who we saw on Friday. Pitch a great game against Northwest. And first pitch in there for strike one. We are underway. First pitch, 656. It's 1 and 0 oh, to Headington. This one is swing and a miss. This one just a little outside. Four ball two. Here is the 2 1 from Lees. This one in the air. Shallow right center. Right fielder is over and under it for out number one. Find yourself with the catch at the wheels. Mm -hmm. Now batting number three, Alex Baca. This is Maley Self on the put out. That's our first out of the ball game. This brings up the center fielder Alex Baca. This one fouled off. Seven and one record for the Royals coming in. Still in a good spot in district. A few games left, and that one's in there for strike two, zero oh and two. The O oh two that's slapped out to right. Self though has a charge on it. And Brings it into her chest for her second put out. Now body number 14, Karen Burris. Another F9. That brings up Karen Beer Burris, the third baseman. Stands from the side of the plate, right handed hitter against the righty Lees. First pitch. I'm going to call it a foul tip out in front of the plate. Bounce foul first, 0 and 1. That one's a little 
outside for ball one, one and one. Lee's looking to start things off with the one, two, three first. Had some issues on Friday having quick innings. That one gets away two and one. Swing and a miss, nice slider. Two and two. Another swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. First one of the night for Lee. And it's a one, two, three, first inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. Played half an inning. Richland Lady Royals, zero. Birdville Lady Hawks, zero. It'll be the Lady Royals turn to bat. We come back after this. Number 11, Anissa Hill. Back for the bottom half of the first inning. Anissa Hill to lead off against Maddie Ramsey of the Hawks. Ramsey delivers. First one in there, first strike. That one outside, ball one. We Hill, Maddie McKay, Landry McKittrick. Three do up this inning as Hill slaps this one. Foul out of play. First base side. Hill was hitless on Friday, but reached base twice, once on a walk, once on a fielder's choice, and came around to score on that walk. Take that one high and evens the count at two and two. And that two two slapped right at the third baseman. Burris, nice snag for...
Had a hit in four tries. Couple fly outs, a single. And she'll take the first pitch away for ball one. First two pitches, yeah, bat miss. It's two and zero oh to McKay. Two row oh, that runs high. Three and zero oh to McKay to lead thing or the second hitter of the inning. Pick it up a little bit here. Flags going crazy in center field. 3 1 inside. And it's a quick four pitch walk to McKay. That brings up senior number 23, the catcher, Landry McKittrick. And Landry McKittrick, the catcher, due up. Senior in that third spot had a hit on Friday. An RBI double had a pair of hits, actually. She'll take that one down the heart of the play for strike one. This one fouled off over the right side. Two strikes, McKittrick. Reese Davis on deck. This one fouled off, barely got the top of the net, almost came right towards us and top of the stands. This one hit in the air, fair territory, straight to center field. Center fielder coming in, can't make a play on it. Bounces just in front of her glove, and everyone's safe. Number 34, Reese Davis. So McKay moved up to second. McKittrick at first, and now Reese Davis with the couple of runners on here early in the first. She hits this one right to the shortstop. They go to third and get the lead runner, and that will be it. Bailey. Eddington Bailey making that play. How about number 44, Aliyah Kuhn. So the fielder's choice for Davis. Kittrick the second. This one slapped the left by Cruz. Does that have a chance to get down? No, the shortstop. Headington Bailey, Bailey Headington over there makes the catch and will do it for our bottom of the first inning. We had no runs, one hit, no errors, two left on. We played a full inning. Virtual Lady Royals zero, Birdville Lady Hawks zero. We'll be back with the second inning, second inning in a moment on the Vibe Live Network.
batting number 15, Matty Ramsey. And it's the pitcher, Matty Ramsey, to lead off our second inning. Ramsey, right-handed hitter, facing the righty leaves and first pitch. Big swing and a miss. Four strike one. Ramsey fouls this one off right into the bleachers too, all right. Big heads up moment, one out of the way, 0-2 oh to Ramsey. The 0-2, oh way too far outside. One two to Ramsey, fouled off right side again. This one all the way out of the park, closer to the cars behind us. Again, aside from the wind, just nice night out here for some softball. This is the weather up to the 80s, even even pushing a little bit in the 90s, but it's been feeling much cooler than that. The wind's helping, the sun is setting, starting to make it a little easier to see. One, two, it's fouled off to the right side again. We'll do it again. Yeah, that's way going to miss Ramsey. Look kind of lost on that one, reached for it. Yeah, it's the second consecutive strikeout for Lees. Number one, Emma B. Brings up the catcher, Emma B. Craft. B. Craft, a lefty hitter. Lee's checks her wrist for her scattering report. See how she wants to pitch B. Craft. And the first pitch is in there for strike one. Getting ahead of the, er the hitters quick. This one right back at the pitcher goes off of Lee's forearm. She's not going to be able to get there in time to get the out at first. And that'll be the first base runner of the evening for the Hawks. Call that an infield single. And V Craft will be on first. Lee seems to be fine. They got a 13, Morgan. I don't believe they got a courtesy runner for B Craft at first. Can't get the number quite yet. But Morgan Basildua, second baseman, do up. She'll take a first pitch strike. They can about the weather. Still at 92 degrees. 13 mile per hour winds from the southwest. For, for us, it's kind of coming from right field. Runner goes after showing bunt, throw down, got her. Great throw by McKittrick. That's a one and one count to Basil Dua, and that's a swing and a miss. One and two, and just like that, Lee's gonna end the inning in a pitch.
That one just misses. Two from Lees. Slaps him. Goes right through the third baseman. Maddie McKay couldn't get to it. And that will be a base hit. And a shot right to McKay. That brings up number 10, Sidney Taylor. Another right fielder, Sidney Taylor, do up. First pitch misses for a ball one. Big swing and miss way out in front of it was Taylor. That misses two and one. That's nice pitch inside for strike two. Two and two to Taylor. Bells will do a runner on first. Yeah, that gets Taylor looking and ends the inning. No runs, two hits, no errors, no left on. Play an inning and a half. Richland Lady Royals zero, Birdville Lady Hawks zero. Back with more Richland softball on the Vipe Live Network in a moment. Pitcher and six-hole hitter J.C. Lees to lead things off. Top of second and take strike one. Lees skies that one towards foul Torrey, first base side, and just going to get away. And fall harmlessly for a strike. Lees was 0 for 3 from the plate on Friday. Right. 
0-2, Lee swinging to protect, fouls it off. That one slaps with the first baseman, a nice catch. It's McKenzie Baker with the glove work. And the line out to third is the first out of inning number two for the home team. With Jocelyn Pinto now up to the plate. Until the left fielder, rocking number two and getting the let's go big two chant from her home dugout. Right handed hitter, slight bend of the knees and puts good contact. This one straight away center field, center fielder under it though. And nice job by Alex Baca. Are you ready for that one for out number two? Brings up the second baseman, Kylie Valencia. First pitch, Valencia outside for ball one. That one's in there for a strike to Valencia. Valencia didn't bat the whole game Friday, but then did pick up a bat for Grayson Slack and did record a hit, but was hit by a pitch at one point and got around the third. And that's one smoke down the third base line. That's going to get off the third baseman's glove. Fair and be a two out single for Kylie Valencia. Then the throw back to second gets away all the way deep in the right seat field, and Valencia is going to get the third. So we'll give Valencia the single on the score card. And then we'll move it to third on an error. Single and then the error moves her to third. And first run of the potential run of the game is on third with two outs and Bailey self do up. The right fielder takes inside for ball one. <laughs> that one outside, 2-0. This one fouled off. Two one to self, slaps at it, left side. That's gonna drop and be an RBI single for self. Actually trying to go for two, but not sure <laughs> why she did. She was thrown out at second, but regardless, it is an RBI single for self. So one run on two hits, no error, or one error and one left on. Actually, nobody left on. And that will do it for two innings. Richland Lady Royals 1, Birdville Lady Hawks 0. Back with more Richland softball on the Pipe Live Network in a moment.
riding McKenzie Baker. First baseman McKenzie Baker to lead off. Start things top half of the third, and her first pitch swung on and slapped to right side and foul territory to Leah Cruz drifting over and she's got it for a quick out number one. Now batting number nine, Kaylee Anzalo. Kaylee Anzalo. Now the batter. Powell's off first one she sees. That one swung on and missed, strike two. That one fouled off straight back. Two from Lees. Just outside, one and two. That one's going to be in there for strike three. Another punch out for Lees. J.C. Lee's fourth strikeout, one time through the order. Now Batty, Bailey Headington. And turns the lineup back over to Bailey Headington. Shortstop who flew out to right back in the first. First pitch, Headington, good hit. Left center, that's going to one hop. Be fumbled by Pinto a little bit. She'll get it into second, but not before. Headington is in with a stand-up double. No time run on second. Alex Baca, the center fielder, do up. Also flew out three, Alex to right in the first inning. First one, too far inside, ball one. Swing and a miss, that'll be strike one. This one up in the air, left center, getting up there a little bit. Pinto on the run, comes in and makes the catch. And retires. The last hitter of the third inning. No runs, a hit, no errors. One left on. Heading to the bottom of the third. Lady Royals one, Lady Hot zero. Or Richland Softball on the Vipe Live Network in a moment.
Back to the bottom of the third. It's the top of the order. Vanessa Hill leading off. Hill lined out the third baseman. Burris in her first at bat and takes ball one from Ramsey. This one slapped the left. That's going to go foul. I've been doing my best to keep my own scorebook, be my own of, uh, official score, but I have been able to get up the website that coaches use and help me get a little bit more clear stats. So they've got Birdville down for three errors already. That one way inside, almost hit Hill, two and one. This one slapped to left. The left fielder under it reaches up more. Has got it, and that's out number one. Brings up the senior third baseman, Maddie McKay. Okay, we take the first pitch inside for ball one. That one gets in there for a strike, one and one. This one slapped right side, slicing foul, just going to get on top of the dugout. Oh, a tough concession. Let's see if it makes the roll down, and almost. One and two from Ramsey. Soft contact, rolls right past the pitcher, Ramsey, but a nice job by the shortstop, Headington. Coming across the diamond, scooping it up and making a strong throw to get McKay. That brings up number 23, Landry McKittrick. And here's the catcher, McKittrick, who singled back in the first. This one smoked in the left field, going back. It's going to bounce off the base of the wall and be a stand-up double for McKittrick. Right over the head of Moore. Thought I might have a chance at this first in the... In about the first game and almost game and a half now we've seen from being here Friday and here today. That's the best hit ball yet. It's almost hit right to some of those kids that in the crowd that decides to sit in their cars right behind the fence in left field. Right under the scoreboard. Quickly 2 and 0. Oh. To Reese Davis. That one 
Low in the dirt, three and zero. Davis reached on a fielder's choice in the first inning. Three zero, and takes the free strike. Davis was not going. 3-1 count, runner on second. And Kittrick. And that one misses inside, walks. Reese Davis. It's like a walk issued by Ramsey. Brings up Aaliyah Cruz, who Number flew out. Flew out in the shallow left field to the shortstop. Headington, her first appearance. Sun's finally starting to set here. And first pitch outside for a ball. And after two quick outs to start the inning, Kittrick and Davis giving some trouble now. Behind a cruise, a timeout as the pitcher and catcher are going to come talk. Emma B. Craft talking to Ramsey. Not only do they form the battering ram, but they also bat next to each other. Ramsey, the four hole, and B. Craft, the five spot. So they work together, and Ramsey's shaking her hand a lot and now has. Coach out to speak with her. We got Ramsey at forty four pitches thrown, two hits and two walks. Well, I've got about four hits. Stays in the game. Everyone resumes to their normal spots and run away with Cruz. And that one misses two, two and zero. Oh. Real chance to get leads. Some breathing room on the mound. Want a little low. Good block by B Craft. But now it's three and one oh, three and oh to Cruz. In danger of walking back to back. That's a nice pitch in there for the free strike. That one's in there and runs the count full. Ramsey steps off. Ramsey's looking for her first strikeout. 3-2, contact. Shortstop Heddington's got it. Throw to first. And that retires Cruz and the Lady Royals. Well, there's no runs on one hit, two left on. We've played three. It's Lady Royals one, Birdville Lady Hawk zero. 
don't go anywhere. We'll have more Richland softball in a moment. Burris. And back in Richland softball field for top of the fourth inning. First pitch to Burris fouled over my head. Burris was a strikeout victim back in the first inning. And she's quickly down 0-2 with two fouls behind us. Bur Burris to be followed by Ramsey and Beecraft. It's the 3, 4, 5, the heart of the order. 0-2, fouled off, similar spot. <laughs> This one we fouled off the left side after three straight fouled off on the first base side. Burris still fighting on two. See if Lees can finish her off. Pulled the string on her, got her way out in front, and struck out Burris for the second time. J.C. Lee's having a very nice start to this game, her fifth punch out. That brings up Emma Beecraft. Maddie Ramsey, sorry. Now the pitcher, Maddie Ramsey, who's also a strikeout victim back in the second. She'll take ball one. First pitch, Ramsey misses one no. That one catches the inside corner one and one. One from Lees. That's in there as well. One and two. One 
One, two, way outside, waste pitch, two and two. Two, two. Got Ramsey looking. Back to back punch outs. Number one, Emma B. Crab. Two away. At the top of the fourth, both via the punch out. Six of the night for Lees. This one in the air, right side. She got under itself. Only a few steps over. She's camped out. She's got it. And a one, two, three inning for Lees. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Lady Royals still lead the Lady Hawks one nothing on the Vipe Live Network. Pitcher J.C. Lee to start things off here. Bottom of the fourth, 1-0 Royals. First pitch from Ramsey High for a ball. Lee's lined up to first in the second inning. The 1-0 foul straight back. One to Lees. That's inside two and one. Lees last inning put together her second one two three inning. Did it in the first and then did it in the fourth and this one right back up the middle. How are you doing? In a leadoff single for Lees. Small bunts and whatnot, and also Lee's 
We'll get a courtesy runner. That'll be Ratchet Houston. Will be the runner. And Pinto does show the bunt, pulls back, runner goes, and is in there. But the umpire says she went too early and calls her out. Wow. So it's one away for Pinto now. Base is empty. That's going to miss for a ball. Officials, umpires have a, have a quick chat, but now we're back on schedule. One and one to Pinto. Fouled up. This one really close to me. And <laughs> pretty much where I was sitting on Tuesday, or last Friday, that is. A few feet to my right. Waiting for that time, I got to protect my camera and protect my equipment and make a play. Now 1-2 to Pinto. Ramsey delivers. Pinto slaps it to third. Third base makes a glove on it. Short stop. Headington can't pick it up cleanly. And I like that as an infield hit for Pinto. So the first two hitters both get on via the single. Lee's had a pinch runner, and she was deemed out, leaving the base too early, trying to steal second. Throw down back to first. Close play. It's Kylie Valencia now up. She took ball one. Valencia singled in the second. And is the, the lone run in the game. She singled in the second, got the third on the error of the ball being thrown to first. Got all the way to third. And then was able to score. Another runner going. Throw down. The tag and safe. The throw was there in plenty of time, but wasn't a clean job by Hiddington on the tag, tag and transfer. So in safely. That second is Pinto. Valencia takes that one too low. Shows bunt, pulls back, runner goes, but no one covering in time, and Pinto easily steals third. A pair of stolen bases for Pinto in the AB. With one out, maybe a sack fly can bring her in. Valencia just needs to put the ball in play. Infield in. That one inside though, three and one. No, actually, that was it was ball four to Valencia. 
So another walk issued by Ramsey. Her third walk issued. Still has not struck anyone out. No. All three batters in the inning have reached. J.C. Lee's a single, Pinto a single, and then Valencia a walk. The only difference was Lee's pinch runner. Houston was out at second, so the bases aren't loaded. And now here comes Valencia, and she'll take second base. Really nice base running by Lady Royals here in the bottom of the fourth. They have two in scoring position. One out, just eliminated the double play possibility. Infield still in. Trying to keep it a one-run game, bottom of the fourth. Ramsey's delivery slapped at third. And a nice catch made going out of bounds by Burris. That was Maley Self on the line out the, fifth, the third and turns the lineup back over to Anissa Hill. Hill 0 for 2. And we'll take ball one. Swing and a miss by Hill, one and one. Ramsey had her out in front. That one's gonna miss two and one. Big spot for Hill, try to get some insurance. Bottom of the fourth, up just a run. Best opportunity might score a few. So we'll take that one for a strike, two and two. Two's run wild, two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Lead off hitter Hill. That's high, three and two. Maddie McKay on deck. Ramsey takes a moment, readjust. Sixty seventh pitch on the way from Ramsey. Slapped up the middle. That's going to drop into center. A base hit. One run scores. Here comes the second. That's good as well. And in the second is Hill with a two RBI knock. Make it three or nothing, Lady Royals. Call that one a, a single and advance a second on the throw home. But a two RBI. I hit for the leadoff hitter Hill. Has it two to nothing or three to nothing? Here's McKay, who grounded out her last time off, walked earlier, and that's foul. Even the count one and one. Yeah. 
One one that misses. Two one rip the left field. There to be fair down the line. Hill comes around to score. McKay in the second. A stand up RBI double makes it four to nothing Royals. Now batting number 23, the catcher, senior Landry McKittry. Brings up the catcher McKittrick. And she's two for two with a single and a double. Four nothing. Lady Royals lead. Kind of offense they need. Last few games, one run against Northwest twice. It's nice to get some runs on the board here at home. It's a nice night where the wind has really died down as the sun has gone down. Oh one, slap the third. On a hop, throw across, gets the outs. And that will do it for the fourth inning. It's three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. We've played four. Original Lady Royals, four. Birdville Lady Hawks, zero. Be back in a moment with more Richland softball on the Vipe Live Network. Number 13, and back for fifth inning action for nothing Lady Royals lead and do up to start the fifth inning is the second baseman Morgan Balzadua and she'll take ball one from Lee's back out there for her fifth inning of work Lee so far four innings two hits six strikeouts no walks That's inside and Lee's down 2-0 oh to Basil Dua, the six-hole hitter. She'll be followed by Sydney Taylor and Mackenzie Baker. That's in there for a strike two and one. Big swing and miss, pulling the string. Lee's had her out in front. Two and two. That's 
high, three and two. Swing and a miss. Lee's got another victim on strikes. Bowser will do a set down to start the fifth. Seven strikeout. Now batting for Birdville, number 10, Sydney Taylor. Brings up Taylor, who struck out looking in the second. Lee's working quick, first pitch. Catches the outside corner, strike one. <laughs> that one slapped short. Davis has it long throw to first. The crew's got it. And quickly two put away. Baker. And J.C. Lee's now retired seven Hawks in a row. Had six Hawks in a row. Eight of the last nine, and quickly ahead of Baker, two and zero, oh, or zero oh and two. Lee's looking for her third one, two, three inning, and got her swinging. Eighth. Punch out for Lees. And that will do it for the top of the fifth. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on. To the bottom of the fifth we go. Richland Lady Royals four. Birdville Lady Hawks zero. Be back with more Richland softball on the Vibe Live Network in a moment. Number 34, the shortstop, Reese Davis. And it will be the senior shortstop, Reese Davis, to lead things off. Bottom of the fifth, still facing Maddie Ramsey. And first pitch outside for ball one. Davis 0 for 1, reached on a fielder's choice in the first and walked in the third. That one misses four. 
ball too. That one ripped the left. That's going to get down, get past more, and get all the way to the wall. And a leadoff double for Reese Davis. First pitch in there for a strike to Leah Cruz. That one misses one and one. Big open stance for Cruz. Left foot, the top left corner of the box. Slaps this one towards short. Nice backhand stop. Throw across the diamond, though. Not a chance for Eddington. Just too long of a play. Davis stayed at first. So Cruz is first hit. Infield single. Runner on sec first and second, no outs for the pitcher. J.C. Lees. Lees, who singled just the last inning. Lady Royals batted seven hitters. Here's Lees again delivering the base hit in the left, and that ball bounces off of Moore's glove. Coming around to score is Davis. Cruz safe at third. Lees safe at second. Five to nothing, Royals. Cruz on third, Lee's on second, where actually she had Houston pinch run for her again, courtesy runner in. So it's Jocelyn Pinto at the plate. 1-0 pitch, fouled off. Pinto, in her last at bat, got on with a single up the middle. Then stole second and third base and then came around to score. It was one of three runs scored in the fourth inning. Great opportunity with nobody out and two runners in scoring position. The 1-1. One, one. Takes the ball, 2-1. and one. Pinto gets under this one, stays in the infield. Headington finds it for the first out. Brings up Carly Valencia. She's got a hit and a walk and has scored both times she's been to the plate.
take strike one. One upstairs, one and one. Still runners on second and third, one away. The eight hole hitter, Kylie Valencia, and behind her is Maylee Self. Valencia takes that one for a ball, two and one. Side three and one to Valencia. First base is open with the nine hole hitter on deck. Could try to set up double play infield in, trying to stop any runs they can to keep a comeback chance alive. They're gonna have two innings to make up at least five runs, depending on where this drops, and it's gonna be foul just out of the reach of Baker. Tipped off, runs the count full, three and two. Pitch to Valencia, gets under it, pop up in the infield. Headington's got it. And that's out number two. Back-to-back pop-ups to short. Brings up Malia Self. <laughs> Self had a RBI hit in the second inning and then was thrown out trying to stretch it into a double. And she was responsible for the game's first run. Scored or driven in. Chance to add a few more runs in. Really try to shut that door on the Hawks. First pitch, fouled off straight back. That one slapped. The guy gets past Baker at first base. Into right field. Cruz in to score. And six to nothing Royals.
Kissa Hill. First and third, actually second and third as Self took second on that. Took second, wasn't even paying attention. Second and third, two away for leadoff hitter and miss a hill. First pitch ball, second pitch in there for a strike. Hill one for three. Wish he had a two RBI hit last inning. And it is has a nice chance to do it again in the fifth. This one slapped towards third. Picked up on two hops, thrown. Baker's got it. And that will finally end our fifth inning. We're going to have four hits, two runs, no errors, two left on. We've played five. It's... Richland Lady Royal 6, Birdville Lady Hawks 0. More Richland softball on the Vibe Live Network in a moment. Here's Kaylee Enzohom to start things off. First pitch fouled off. Just ends Enzohom's second AB. Quickly 0 and 2 to Anzahone. The 0 2, got her swinging down on three pitches. Good for Lee's eighth strikeout. And brings the top of the order, Bailey now Heddington. Two, Bailey Heddington. Heddington at the plate, one for two with a double. She had in the third inning. Eight in a row set down by Lees. Has they allowed anybody on base since Heddington's double back in the top of the third. Two one. 
That misses, three and one. Or three and oh, actually. I was looking at the wrong number. Three and oh. Lees has not issued a free pass yet. See how she can come back against Headington and now misses. Nope, no, late strike call. Three and one. That one does miss, and first walk by Lees and ends her streak of eight reti eight consecutive retired. That brings up number Hawks. three, Alex Baca. And bring up the center fielder, Alex Baca, who was 0 for 2. First pitch straight up, might stay in play. Well, territory does, but McKittrick unable to squeeze it behind home plate. 0-1, oh you, can, you can tell summertime and springtime's coming around in Texas. Sun is down, still warm, and the bugs around the lights in full force. That one's fouled off. Now I'm going to change our scoreboard to top of the six. Richland needs just five more outs to get out of this one. The 0 2 hit well, deep left center, but back. To make the catch is Hill. Chance to maybe double up at first, but just getting back was Eddington. But a great catch in center field by Anissa Hill. That brings up number 14, Curran Burris. It's one of those stars you one of those plays you might add a little star to. Two away. He brings up Kieran Burris, who is 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And it'll take a first pitch strike. This one lifted to left, up in the air, going back. Pinto has it bounced out of her glove at the wall. Throw back in, but a run scores. First run of the game for Birdville. Off of a loud double by Burris. So the shutout is out of question. It's now Burris at second with Matty Ramsey, the pitcher at the plate, looking to cut into the lead a little bit more. Maybe get another one, a swinging bunt right back to Lees. Quick, easy throw over to Cruz at first. And that will do it for the top of the fifth. One run on one hit, one left on, no errors. Head right to the bottom of the fifth. Richland Royals six, Birdville Hawks one. More Richland softball on the Vibe Live Network in a moment.
bottom of the sixth inning underway. North Richland Hills, Texas. Brendan Snow on the Vibe Live Network. First pitch from Maddie Ramsey misses for ball one. Going against Maddie McKay. Two Maddies spelled different ways. Ramsey spelled M A T T I E, and McKay goes with the M A D I action, shorthand, and McKay gets under one, lifts at the left. More and more is over and has it for out number one. Brings up the catcher, Landry McKittrick. Who's two for three, single, a double, and a ground out. Now batting for the Lady Rolls, number 23, Landry McKittrick. First pitch to McKittrick, misses for ball one. Kittrick off the end of the bat, right side, slices foul, one and one. Kittrick followed by Reese Davis, the two, three, four, here in the bottom of the six. And here's a nice one hit to right center, going back, right fielder looking up, that one's gone! In opposite field, solo shot to right for Landry McKittrick. Touch them all. Richland gets the shot to right from McKittrick. Now body number 34, Reese Davis. Seven to one, Lady Royals, and with Reese Davis up, she takes strike one. Davis fouls that one off and quickly down 0 and 2. That one chopped the third. Field on a hop to throw. And that is out number two. And that brings up Aaliyah Cruz. Batting number 44, Aaliyah Cruz. First pitch to Cruz for strike one. Cruz one for three, singled and scored in the fifth. Get the next one underway. Cruz. 
Cruz slaps this one left side. Foul. Do it again. Yo, two crews down on strikes. Just the second strikeout for Ramsey. Scratch that first strikeout for Ramsey, and that ends it for our sixth inning. One runs, one hits, no errors, nobody left on. We played six, the Lady Royal seven, Lady. Hawks won more Richland softball on the Vibe Live Network in a moment. Fighting for Birdville, number one, Emma B. Craft. Final inning begins 7-1. to one. Lady Royals lead. A lot of work to do for the Hawks. J.C. Lee's out there for her seventh inning of work. And she'll be met by Emma B. Craft, the catcher. First pitch, swing and lift to the left. Pinto's got to go back, come back forward, loses it, and ball on the ground and in the second base to lead things off is B. Craft. I'm going to get the courtesy runner for B-Craft and see how they score that one. Coach scores it in her book. Now batting number 13, Morgan Basil Dua. And they're ruling an error on Pinto. Error puts her on second base. On the E7. Brings up Morgan Basil Dua, and she'll take ball one. One zero -oh, foul straight back. from Lees. Lifted in the air left side. Pinto's got a read on it and able to bring that one in. We're out number one. How about number 10, Sydney Taylor. 
Brings up right fielder Sidney Taylor 0 for 2. The strikeout and a ground out. He'll take a ball on the first pitch, 1-0. Taylor, seven hole hitter. Mackenzie Baker, eight hole behind her. And Kaylee Enzahone, do up ninth. And yeah, a swing and a miss for a strike. These bottom three, hoarder, uh, three hitters in the order have struck out four times in six plate appearances. Swing and miss on that one. Ball in the dirt. Gets the backstop and the runner scurries over to third. Beecraft well, B had a runner for her. That's, well, we didn't get the name. It's not Beecraft. It's number 11 for the Hawks. One, two, Taylor. Foul tip. Just stays alive. Grounder towards short. Davis has it. Throws the first for the out. The run scores. So the RBI ground out. Two away. In a 7-2 ball game. In the top of the seventh. First pitch, swing and a miss. It's a pinch hitter for the Hawks. Victoria Lano. And she's got the count one and one. Let's give me if it's Cano or Lano, my writing I got can't make it out, but here this one is lifted the second base. Under it is Valencia, and that will do it. That concludes the ball game. Seven to two, your final score. Pop out to second out for the final out. In the final inning, one run on no hits, an error, and nobody left on base. Final score from Richland High School, the Lady Royals 7, Lady Hawks 2. A big inner district win for the Royals. Anytime you can win in district and win, especially against the same team in the same town as you. Richland and Birdville, the two schools of North Richland Hills. A 7-2 victory for the Royals, and they will go on the road Friday and play these Hawks again at Birdville, so make sure you're tuning in for that. I believe we should have that one for you on the Vipe Live Network as well. And if you're tuned in to keep up with the Hawks, they will play against the Royals on Friday. And again, it will be, a, a, I am for the Richland broadcast, this will be for our Birdville broadcast, but you can catch the game on Vipe on Friday, the win. Advances Richland to 15-7-1 overall on the season. And gets them back in the winning category after losing three straight off of three low-scoring games. The last three games, they had scored a total of four runs. So to get seven, excuse me, this evening is a big-time win for the offense. 
going over some quick big plays of the game. Anissa Hill had a two RBI single in the fourth inning. Uh, Matty McKay with a couple of hits, including an RBI double. Then Andrew McKittrick with three hits, came up a triple short of the cycle, had that home run in the sixth inning. Reese Davis hit in a walk, scored a run. Aaliyah Cruz, 1-4, came around to score. J.C. Lee pitched an outstanding game and had two hits, including an RBI. Jocelyn Pinto, 1-3, for three, came around to score. Kylie Valencia was on base twice and scored both times. And Maylee Self with two separate RBI singles. She had herself a nice night. And the book for J.C. Lee's seven innings, 88 pitches, two hits, two runs, nine strikeouts in the one walk. Maddie Ramsey throws six innings, 110 pitches, 11 hits, seven runs, six of them earned, one strikeout and three walks. And the one long ball she gave up to McKittrick. Well, I was going to do it all for our Vibe Live presentation of Richland softball on this Tuesday evening. Again, Richland Lady Royals defeat the Birdville Lady Hawks 7-2 to the final. For myself, Brendan Snow, thank you all for tuning in. And we'll see you on Friday. We'll have baseball in action here on the Vibe Live Network for Richland. So make sure to tune back in. And have a great rest of your week.